In this video, I want to talk about a frequency multiplier and a frequency divider and the applications of them. In some electronic circuits, you have to increase or decrease the frequency by a certain ratio. Let's say, for example, you need a clock pulse with a frequency of exactly 1 Hz. Since you need high accuracy, so you have to use a crystal oscillator. But the problem here that you cannot find a crystal with a frequency of 1 Hz. To solve this problem, we have to use a crystal with a frequency of 32.7 kHz. Then divide that frequency by more than 32,000 times. So the output frequency will be exactly 1 Hz. You can use IC4060 to do that, but you have to use two of them, because it cannot divide by 32,000 by one step. The first IC divide the frequency by 1024, and the second one divide it by 32. I used this method before in my frequency counter project. So now we understand what is a frequency divider and when we have to use them. Now let's talk about a frequency multiplier. Frequency multiplier is more complicated than a frequency divider. I used the frequency multiplier before in my tachometer project. To convert RPS to RPM by multiply it by 60, you can use a PLL to make a frequency multiplier. PLL stands for phase like loop. It has input, output, and feedback loop. In the normal situation, the output frequency will be exactly equal to the input frequency. But if you cut the feedback loop and put a frequency divider here, now it can multiply the frequency. The interesting thing here that any frequency multiplier has a frequency divider inside. This is my circuit, it has three ICs. By using these depth switches, you can choose the ratio between output and input frequency. And from here, you can choose the frequency divider or frequency multiplier. I soldered the components together and it's time to test. You have to multiply the value of these two depth switches together. For example, let's say you need the output frequency to be 25 times greater or less than the input. In that case, you have to select 5 here and 5 here. Because 5 times 5 equal 25. I hooked up a sequer wave with a frequency of 10 kHz to the input. I select the frequency multiplier and as you can see, the output frequency is 25 times more than the input. But by selecting a frequency divider, the output frequency will be 25 times less than the input. Let's try multiplying by 7. I set the first depth switch to 1 and the second one to 7, because 1 times 7 equal to 7. So as you can see here, the output frequency is 7 times more than the input. And when I select frequency divider, the output frequency will be 1.4 kHz. Because 10 kHz divided by 7 equal to 1.4 kHz. The maximum output frequency in this circuit is 1 MHz. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.